Hello everybody, getting ready to do lesson uh, chapter 9, review and summary, part 1, pre-algebra math. Today, and review and summary has 45 points of classwork, have your classwork sheet out in front of you. And then 30 points here will have to go in your notebook, so give, have your notebook out for that. Name date period here, students, put your name date period. Onlineers, put your due date, and homeschoolers, put your due date there. And let's go to the bell work for today. Which ratio is equal to sine P? So students uh, and teachers, get your students on this. And determine whether your triangle with the given side lengths is a right triangle with these lengths here. Give your students about five minutes, teachers. See you in five. Okay, welcome back. And the answer for uh, number one up here, bell work is C, the sine of P here, so the sine of angle P is opposite over hypotenuse, which would be P over Q. And then down here are these side lengths of a right triangle, and A squared plus B squared equals C squared, this, this would be your C. Does this add up to 900? And it, it, it does not. So the, the, the triangle with these side lengths is not a right triangle. On into vocabulary here, students, this is, goes into your notebook. Square root, simplest form of a radical. Pythagorean theorem, define this. Perfect square, expression, and then irrational number. And go back into your notes, students, if you need to. Uh, teachers give your students time to come up with this or ask them to come forward to the smart board to uh, write down their uh, definitions of these key vocabulary words. Ten points here for page one. Page two, more vocabulary. Radical expression, hypotenuse, real number, tri trigonometric ratio, tangent, and then sine. And you got 10 points here for page two in your notebook again. Page three, more vocabulary, leg, midpoint, and cosine. And more, this goes in your notebook, students. Uh, five points here for page three. Page four, we got a question here. A blank of a number n is a number m such that m squared equals n. So respond to that. And then down here in a right triangle, the blank is the side opposite the right angle. The sides that form the right angle are the blank. And you got five points here for page four. Page five, what is the midpoint of a segment? So it's just a question. Students respond with a full sentence or sentences. Then number four for the triangle DEF below right sine d, cosine d, and tan d in terms of d, e, and f. And you've got 10 points here for page 5. Okay, and then for 4 down here for triangle d, e, f, right sine d, cosine d, and tan d in terms of d, e, and f. I'm going to let you handle that, students, on your own. You got 10 points here for page five. On to page six, we get into an example here for 9.1 square roots. Approximate uh, square root of 78 to the nearest integer. So uh, 64, we got perfect squares here at 64 and 81. And then 78 is in between the two, right? So identify perfect squares closest to 78. So uh, square root 64 less than square root 78 less than square root 81. Take positive square root of each number. So you have 8 is uh, less than square root 78 is less than 9. Evaluate uh, square root of each perfect square. So because 78 is closer to 81, it is close to 81, it's 3 away, 64 is 14 away. So it is closer to 81 than 64. Square root of 78 is closer to 9 than to 8. So the nearest integer that square root of 78 is equal to 9. 
So that'd be a, a way of uh, process of, uh, of reasoning there that you would come up to the nearest integer of a square root of a number. Okay, moving into our guided practice here. Approximate the square to the nearest integer. We have this one. This is our guided practice here. Approximate the square to the nearest integer. And then down here, students, this is yours. Find the square roots of 625 and the square roots of 8,100. <clears throat> that's, that's your independent practice. We're going to do this one up here, the negative of the square root of 39. So the negative square root of 39, you got 36, perfect square. 49 is the perfect square. So which number is uh, 39 closer to? It's obviously closer to 36. So uh, uh, square root of 36 less than square root of 39 less than square root of 49. 6 less than the square root of 39 less than uh, 7 because 39 is closer to 36 and the 49 the square root of 39 is closer to 6 than, than to 7 so the nearest integer uh, the square root of 39 would be 6 and the, the negative of square root of 39 it would equal negative 6 so it would be the closest to uh, negative 6 would be your closest integer to the square to the negative square root of 39. On to our next example here, uh, simplifying square roots. So uh, simplify uh, square root of 112 and the, then the square root of 33b over 25. So for a here, which is the square root of 112, how would we come to that? So we could uh, break this down into 16 times 7. 16 would be your largest uh, factor. That would be a perfect square of 112. So we have a uh, factor using the greatest perfect square factor which would be 16 times 7. And then you you separate it out. Uh, square root of 16 times square root of 7 is your product property of square roots. And then of course the square root of 16 is 4 times the square root of 7. So that would be the way that you would simplify the square root of 112. Okay, so now the square root of 33b over 25. How would we do that? So we're going to use the quotient property of square roots. We'll uh, make this uh, the square root of 33b over the square root of 25. So with that the square root of 25 be 5, square root of 33b is pretty much just the way it is, so that would be that. So down here, let's go into our guided practice. Simplify these expressions down here. This is yours down here, students. So the square root of 75m, the way that we could simplify that is we would uh, uh, factor it out, factor our quantity underneath our radical. So it'll be 25 times 3 times n. 25 be your largest perfect square that you could factor out of 75. And then the square root of 25 times square root of 3 times square root of m. m. So it'll be 5 times uh, square root of 3 times square root of m. So it'll be 5 times the square root of 3m would be the simplified expression of the square root of 75m. And that is your Chapter 9 Review and Summary, Part 1, Pre-Algebra Math. Animated PowerPoint math video at AL.com for questions or course materials. Thank you very much.